yeah here microphone hello it's Alina here and today I wanted to talk about my recent visit to MA to Maurice Ajumi architect uh, it was quite interesting I absolutely loved the atmosphere I absolutely loved the meeting with Mr. Maurice Ajumi and uh, I love to talk to everyone who works for him and different guests who were present at the exhibition and um, during that meeting uh, Lauren, uh, one of his team members, she asked me about how did I came up with, uh, you know, with the idea, why did I start making uh, handbags based on uh, New York architecture and first I was thinking and then it made me to recapture all of the stories here you know all of the stories years back I was thinking how did it actually happen freely because yes you first uh, you're doing one thing and then suddenly poof it's New York architecture it is not because I realized where I started and where I'm going, it's uh, cause and effect. I started, when I started thinking about my, my own design, I was thinking about my roots and my heritage and obviously who I am, where I'm from. I'm Ukrainian, I came from Ukraine. I started studying the work of Ukrainian artists and uh, I have a book here you see called Ukrainian artists in Paris and there are a lot of artists who uh, who were actually founders of the movement that later led to mm, movement art movement called art deco or that is reflected here in New York, a beautiful collection of Art Deco buildings. And as you know, I created a Deco bag. Yeah, I have one here, only from Crocodile. I don't have anything from Leather because they are at the private collections now. And uh, this bag that I created, it's not the first bag that I created based on New York architecture, it's actually already a fist design based on New York architecture. Previously I made a, a bag based on Empire State Building, I made a bag based on a Chrysler Building. As you know my Manhattan Henge bag has built in a corresponding building called the News Building and it's a design inspired by a phenomenon called Manhattan Henge, a famous Manhattan sunset. and. Uh, now with this bag, which I call the Nomad, so you know, the Nomad is the area of Manhattan where my all my office located, and uh, I made a bag based on a building that was just you know looking at me while I'm walking to work, and uh, I visited architect and his company and his team who designed that building, and uh, he gave me this amazing book. It's called A Grid and Conversation by Maurice Edgemi Architects and inside, inside there, is a, there is a chapter about a modern, modern approach. Okay, let me have a look. Yeah, it's here. Okay, let me show. A modern interpretation and there are quite... Uh, Interesting. A conversation with the child, Charles uh, Bla Blakeman. I hope I pronounce it right. And uh, there are six buildings that are designed with this modern interpretation. Uh, and one of them is the 30 East 31 Street. And as you see, as you see, is a grid design here. It's quite interesting. It is a mixture of. Uh, uh, as I read, it is a Gothic Art Deco, and uh, I'll show you. Actually, when I was looking at my old pictures from my trip back to England to Exeter City, where we lived, and I looked at the Exeter Cathedral, I saw those lines in the bay windows, and, still, and it's quite amazing. So here, as you see, let's have a look. It's beautiful. You see, this is a building and it's a view of Empire State Building. 
and uh, there is uh, like some historical facts about Nomad and about uh, project design and uh, yeah just in general it's a maiden story with a uh, with, uh, marvelous rap at the end and I'm very honored, very proud that I was able to meet with Mr. Morris Ajmi because this is a greatest honor. I am creator and uh, I am designer and uh, I design something might small and um, you know just accessory, ladies accessory and with someone who builds some grand design of a building that's gonna stand for many years and uh, I'm really proud and I really cherish that gonna cherish memory of this moment and uh, I'm really really grateful so if you enjoyed this story give me a like subscribe and ask your questions what would you like to know and I would love to answer thank you very much bye